Research means different things to different people, but uh, generally speaking, research is the systematic and organized uh, way of finding answers to questions uh, posed. This quest for knowledge and improvement and you know for benefits to humanity, it never ends. It's, a, it's an iterative process, so I think that's one of the key ingredients of research. I have a new experience in learning something new in the beginning, from the personal and at the same time, it's a Finding out stuff that's new, finding out, finding out new information, things that people don't know before, uh, discovering new things. البحث العلمي بيمثل لأي باحث وأي عالم حياته الكارير بتاعه طريقة تفكيره مستقبله وبالتالي البحث العلم هو كل شيء بالنسبة للباحث. As a resident of the country in which I live, I uh, see the research as something which becomes not only part of my profession but rather part of my everyday life. It is through research that I see my contribution to the society as a whole. The Community Foundation has been able to improve the light on the research and the importance of 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 the research in order to improve the research and the importance of the research and the importance of the research in order to improve the research and the importance of the research in order to improve the research but from the beginning of the process the Hayya has become a society of the research in all the areas, in all the areas in the communities that are present in the country whether it's the special and the special even to the research and the research and the research and the research started to focus on the research and the research and the research and the research Research is integral for development of any country and establishing an RF was a milestone in this country with the vision of promoting research, regulating research and also mediating between universities and different donors. شركاء الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي عديدون منها الجامعات المعنية في الدولة الجامعات والمؤسسات العلمية والتعليمية والأكاديمية الوزارات الاتحادية المراكز البحثية وكذلك بعض الهيئات التي هي بصدد منح جوائز بحثية وعلمية. Well, I think NRF's presence is very important because it's a national agency which funds national level research. So it has the onerous task of really driving the research mission of the country, coordinate all the universities, bring the universities and industries together. And I think within the short lifespan that it has had, it's done really well. We work with NRF whenever they uh, run a, a conference or a workshop, we participate in that. Uh, we take advice from them on how we allocate our own internal funding in terms of the way we run our own competitions for grants inside the university. Uh, so. We see NRF as being an exemplar of best practice. دولة الإمارات دولة فتية لا زالت في بداياتها ولكن في نفس الوقت قطعت أشواط كبيرة في التعليم وفي البحث العلمي. هي مثل الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي تساعد في دعم الباحثين ودعم تطلعاتهم للبحث العلمي. يلعب البحث العلمي دور مهم ورئيسي في بناء الاقتصاد المعرفي في البلدان من حيث توسيع قاعدة البحث العلمي وزيادة نسبة الاكتشافات والابتكارات التي تعتبر من المؤشرات المهمة في بناء الاقتصاد المعرفي. I think the National Research Foundation has been extremely important to us as a university because we see them as being not only a funding agency but an independent agency which at the moment have helped us in evaluating our, our intramural funding, uh, although the funds are from us, but we use them as a third party to evaluate and to rank our, our basically research proposals. And that has been done extremely well for the third cycle. That means three years in the past three years. And we have been, we've had a very positive uh, experience with that. One of the great things NRF has done, besides funding our research, uh, I think they have followed up, you know, they have stayed engaged in what the faculty has been doing and I think that has energized the faculty quite a bit. من أهم أهداف الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي دعم البحوث والدراسات البحثية المتخصصة وكذلك العامة دعم براءة الاختراع والابتكار وتعزيز التعاون بين القطاع الصناعي والمراكز البحثية والجامعات والباحثين. برامج الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي هي برامج تنافسية. 
وتدار بطريقة باعتماد أفضل الممارسات العالمية وتعتمد أهم مراحل إدارة البحوث مسابقات البحوث العلمية من خلال برنامج الإدارة الإلكترونية المتكامل من مرحلة الإعلان إلى مرحلة الانتهاء واختيار أفضل البحوث وتمر عملية إدارة المنح البحثية والجوائز في مرحلة التقييم وهي مرحلة مهمة جدا تتم عن طريق تعيين مقيمين نظراء دوليين في نفس المجالات البحث العلمي ومن ثم يتم اختيارهم وفق معايير معينة وكذلك تدار جميع برامج الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي وفق معايير معتمدة دوليا البحث اللي أنا أقوم فيه هو معالجة الصور للحصول على أجزاء من الصورة هذه هذه الأجزاء تكون تساعد الجهاز الحاسوب على التعرف على المكونات الصورة واحدة من التطبيقات كمثال معالجة صور للغة الإشارة والتعرف على لغة الإشارة في ترجمة الإشارة اللي يقومون فيها لأشخاص آخرين لا يعرفون لغة الإشارة. Our research is more like operational research, so we can see the direct impact on our research product on the society. I can list a couple of projects that we are working on presently. One of them is the observation of oil spills and red tide over the Arabian Gulf in real time. Uh, the other project is the dust, uh, so we are looking at dust on daily basis, real time. We are getting data from European satellites. Uh, other application that has also direct uh, impact on the UAE is uh, how the dust is affecting solar energy. So we know that the UAE now is shifting to clean energy. Uh, they set a target to reach 7% of, of uh, electricity and energy from renewables. But we have sun, but also we have dust, so it's very important to assess the performance of different technology for the desert environment that hasn't been done before. My research is focusing on genome-wide association study. It's a screening all the chromosomes, the 46 chromosomes, uh, and looking at the genes that are responsible for diabetes type 2 among Arab populations. Is it genetics? Is it lifestyle? Is it the combination of both? Basically, we recruited so far 750 patients, uh, diabetic and non-diabetic, and we're going to perform a GWAS study to see the genes which is pre uh, predisposed to type 2 diabetes and its complications. Uh, we are using um, uh, saffron, which is a, a well-known um, plant uh, flower, and uh, we uh, extract compounds from this uh, flower. One of the compounds uh, that we extract from this is called safranol, uh, which is the active compound in saffron. And um, <clears throat> the problem with safranol uh, is that um, it has low solubility. So our idea is to modify the properties of safranol uh, by forming um, complexes with other uh, chemicals and also uh, producing uh, nanoparticles with um, biodegradable polymers. My research is um, integrating two very underexplored topics, but very important topics uh, in today's world. This is about the family business and the corporate governance. On the one side, family businesses represent one of the most prevalent form of organization in the world the importance of corporate governance configurations, which is about putting in a place such an important corporate governance system that will secure that the resources are allocated in a fair manner and that will stimulate the return on investment and success of the company in the long run. I focus my research on the questions asked by the patients I see in the genetic clinic. Uh, these uh, patients or families come uh, to the clinic uh, wanting to know what is wrong with their child or with themselves and why it happened to them and how, how they can prevent it. So uh, my research is focused on finding the genes and the mutations causing these diseases in these families. So once we find the gene and the mutation, we can prevent the disease by offering pre-implantation genetic diagnosis or pre-natal diagnosis. And uh, that way, uh, we can reduce the impact of genetic diseases on the community. This is a real translational research, starting from the patient 
going to the lab and back to the patient. My, my small contribution, my research, is to focus on aspects of depression, uh, which is the, the idea of trying to identify uh, risk factors for depression, identify things that will predict whether someone's more or less likely to get depression, so we can intervene, we can teach them some skills, some coping skills, some stress management skills that ultimately will prevent them from developing depressive illness in the first place. On another level as well is that these technology technologies are often patentable, they're also you know exportable so you have that export contribution also if you develop ideas, if you develop uh, tools or assessment techniques that that um, reliably help identify people at risk of depression, you, you copyright them, you patent them, you protect them, then of course you can exploit that technology, you can exploit that, uh, that you know, you can exploit that technology and you know, export it from, from the UAE. Adatan ma yansha an ra'i al ga'ir tadahur al kisa'i al khadari in qurad lil adid min al nabatat al hamma wa bittali haza yuassir ala al manzoom al bi'iya al sahrawiya bshakl aam. Al gamal muhim jiddan li ahl al mantiqa al arabiya. Al gamal ahad al mukawunat al turathiya alati la yumkin an nastagna anha wa bittali yajib أن يعيش الجمل بحرية داخل الصحراء ولكن مع أعداد معينة هذه الأعداد تضمن استمرارية البيئة بشكل مستدام ومن هنا جه المشروع بتاعنا كيف يمكن أن نستديم البيئة الصحراوية مع وجود الرعاء من هنا فكرنا أن احنا نحسب الساعة الرعوية I'm developing a new technique using radio frequency signature combined with some statistical approaches uh, to identify and characterize viruses uh, by not using any biomarkers or any other antigens. So simply I, uh, I will take a sample or a specimen from the patient and then I load it with a special structure, uh, microwave resonating structure and measuring uh, the response and uh, compare this with uh, uh, some reference data and then being able to, to tell if there is viruses or not and if there is viruses, which type of virus and uh, also be able maybe in, 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 in the long run uh, to, to, uh, to monitor continuously and non-invasively the virus evolution inside the human body. My project explores fog as a resource for uh, fresh water. So fog can be explored as a resource for fresh water. And my project focuses on developing materials that can harvest this fog efficiently. I have a project that's working on uh, the GAF tree, which is the national tree of the United Arab Emirates. Um, the main tree that you'll see on the roadsides, especially as you go up to uh, Omar Quain and Ras al-Khaimah. And we're interested in both how it interacts with the environment, so how it interacts with, with other species. We know that it helps other, you know, many other species to, uh, to survive, and so it's an important anchor species uh, yeah, for the area, which means that uh, you know, other species are dependent yeah, on, the, on the tree. Uh, but the other thing we're interested in is in the population structure because there have been uh, quite a few people say in the past that they're concerned that they don't see many young gaff trees. Uh, so the age structure appears to be missing a whole section, that there's very few trees that have been uh, recruited, which means you know, seedlings germinating you know, and growing up in the last maybe 20 years. We've just done a major research project, again funded by the NRF, about what do young Emiratis think about their own country? What do they dream about? What do they aspire for themselves? What do they see the role of their leaders, uh, etc.? And this has provided some very, very insightful uh, observations about how young Emiratis think, uh, what sort of a country they want, uh, what their future holds for them. And uh, we've shared this information with many of the rulers and leaders across the country, and they've been very grateful for this research. Of course, personally, the success of the 
يعطيني فخر في البداية وأيضا يعني الدعم المعنوي لأني أواصل العمل اللي أنا أقوم فيه. NRF of course uh, has supported our project. This is uh, the first project I have um, supported by NRF. It's a great support because with this support we have been able to purchase chemicals. Um, uh, we have been able to uh, hire a research assistant, uh, small equipments, and uh, it has allowed us to basically uh, test our idea. The NRF plays an important role in interlinking the different higher education institutions in the country, as well as organizations that require research accessibility by having built the database of Bahuth al Emirat, for instance, and having a database on researchers in the UAE, they are able to uh, help the industry as well as the private and the government sectors to uh, basically provide any access for possible research that uh, an entity may require. Building this database, I think, was important. And interconnecting the universities together is extremely important. We as UAEU have benefited from such activities. National Research Foundation is succeeding very well in providing that infrastructure to the researchers located in the country, uh, facilitates our access to all the research infrastructure and facilities that exist in the countries, in the country, so that we are able to actually gather together, discuss about the very relevant and topical issues that exist here that will also help us to contribute to the development of the knowledge economy and of course to build a sustainable society. So this is valuable very much not only for us, for the current generation, but also the investment that we make in the human capital through the existence of the National Research Foundation contributes for developing a future generation of very competitive researchers here. In order for a nation to be successful in its diversification of its economy, transforming its economy towards a knowledge-based economy. There is an issue of critical mass. There is a minimum number of people you need. It's not that just the amount of money that you invest, but also the number of people. So there is a critical mass that is required. Uh, crucially, I would uh, uh, like to see uh, the NRF significantly increasing their funds for researchers in the UAE. Uh, so that we can increase the uh, ma critical mass of people working in the field of research in order to transition the UAE to a knowledge e economy. حتى نصل إلى نتيجة يعتمد عليها صانع القرار أعتقد سنة واحدة غير كافية. أتمنى أن التمويل يمتد لي على الأقل ثلاث سنوات حتى نستطيع إنجاز البحث بنجاح. All of the research that I've, I've discussed today, my own particular research, all of it has been what we call cross-sectional. So it's snapshot research, which is useful, it's beneficial, but it's not optimum. Really to answer the type of questions that I'm, I'm trying to answer, we need to have a longitudinal prospective research that follows people up over one, two, three, ideally decades. For research, it takes many, many years for the benefit to show. So one has to be patient. It takes a, a lot of patience to uh, get the benefit of the research. When you are building a program, for example, you are monitoring the atmospheric pollution or you know, quality of the water bodies here, environmental quality, then you, you need to monitor them over long periods of time. And that requires a lot of funding, a lot of high-level instrumentation. So that's why you need to, the scientists and the engineers and humanists, they need to be able to depend on the source of steady source of funds over long periods of time. The funding, although the country is blessed with the resources, uh, the, f the right funding for the research uh, should come from different agencies. Of course, government can support, but uh, the private partners also have responsibility to support research. Now, this innovation system and the role played by research in the universities is critical to building a knowledge-based economy, but it's not a simple linear relationship. You can't simply say, ah, oh, let's put some money into research in the university and then measure directly the impact somewhere else in the economy. It doesn't work like that. And so this is the second big challenge, if you like, in terms of mentality. It's very hard when you're coming to advocate for research to be able to demonstrate how when you invest in research over here that there'll be a benefit over there. Because sometimes it won't be there, it'll be somewhere else. 
But unless you did that research, unless you invested in that research activity, you would achieve nothing. We have to look at the research in two, uh, two different streams, so short-term objectives and also long-term objectives. Because uh, like in other countries, there are some projects that last for 20, 30 years, so you have to have enough observation to make like solid conclusion. Promoting collaborations between university and industry and between university researchers, doing workshops, bringing people together, focusing on specific issues of importance to the region. So many of the things NRF already does, but what's really needed uh, on top of that is sustained funding and high quality, high level funding. The research fundamentally has different levels of products. And that's why my belief is that funding research with an expectation is important. But I believe researchers of today, minimally, they are expecting an outcome from any research they do. The spin-offs, the, uh, as I said, answering manuscript, pu publishing a manuscript, you know, the simplest thing of publishing a manuscript is it puts the country, the university and the country on the map, on the map of the scientific world. Because as we have the business world, we've got also the scientific world. And the scientific world will be aware of people and their activities that are in this beautiful nation of ours, that are active in contributing to humanity as a whole. الأمم والشعوب تقاس في درجة تقدمها بمعايير عديدة إحدى هذه المعايير نسبة الانفاق على البحث العلمي من الناتج المحلي الإجمالي ونسبة الانفاق على البحث العلمي من الناتج القومي الإجمالي It's the analogy of those who put the seed inside to grow the tree and they may not have the time to eat the fruit so someone else uh, comes and eats the fruit If we don't look at the research that way we may be shortcoming in our vision There is no research which can be done without a result but there is research which cannot be done without funding.